Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Caesar. I hope you like that little demo. So this is obviously the Caesar J727E Stone Crusher Edition. This was built by my friend Alexander at Caesar's Handmade Guitars. I was on the market for a seven string Evertune and I found a shop the way everyone finds everything these days, the Explore page on Instagram, where I saw this awesome bass immediately caught my eye. I started following and really liking every build he was doing. Then I started commenting a little bit Eventually one thing leads to another, and here we are with a J727. So why 727? Seven, obviously because of the seven strings, that was my first specification, and 27 because of the 27 inch scale, since this was gonna be my low tuned seven string guitar. But the main spec was for me the Evertune Bridge. I have wanted to try one out since forever, since I've heard they were a thing, mainly of course for their low tuning stability. So the way an Evertune works, if you're not familiar, is you know when you pick so strongly that you can take your low string up to pitch and then it goes bam, and goes back down. That is the bane of my very existence. And this solves it through a mechanical uh, procedure, I don't know, magic, where if you're pulling the string, it's gonna pull it back and it's gonna compensate that length change and you will stay in pitch no matter how hard you hit the string. So this is a blessing for low tunings and it's the main thing that drove me to order a guitar like this. The other special thing is of course the J shape which I am a huge, huge fan of and the stone top which we'll talk about that later but um, the J shape means a lot to me because it's my dad's favorite shape. And I grew up listening to a lot of bands that use guitars that look like this. It's mainly Sonic Youth was a very, very big one. And it was a cool opportunity to make it modern and to make it mine. And I love it to death. The guitar is made of of uh, roasted swamp ash. That's what the body is made of. I learned from the Mayones guitar that this is a very um, light wood, sounds bright, and uh, it was a very safe choice. I am glad I did it. The neck is a one-piece maple neck. I trusted Alexander completely on this one, and uh, it turned out super awesome. I really dig the feel, and uh, the stability seems to be there. And it looks very, very beautiful. Locking tuners, uh, it's a matter of why wouldn't you have locking tuners if you can get them, especially with an Evertune bridge. It makes string changes the easiest thing on the planet because if you switch from the same gauge to the same tuning, everything is the same. You cut this one off, put the same one, wind it up, and this stops you when you're at F sharp or F. There you go. Then, of course, an ebony fretboard, my favorite aesthetic choice and feel choice and 24 frets because we're gent kids and we want to be able to. <laughs> Moving on to the electronics, we have a volume knob. Uh, tone will be always maxed. The three-way selector, so between bridge neck or both. And the volume goes up for push-pull so you can split the humbuckers into single coils. And let's talk about them, these pickups. So they are the bare knuckle silos. These are the Rabia Massad signatures. And I'll be the first to say, I'm not a big pickup guy. I don't have a lot of experience or a lot of knowledge of what pickups really do to affect the tone of the guitar. Now I feel like I have a little bit more experience with an extra set under my experience belt, but I would describe these pickups as very clean. I would say they are very faithful 
to what you play. I say it in a rhythmical and melodical way. So if you are um, playing fast rhythms, it will give you back whatever you play. Instead of uh, mushing it together, which could be a cool effect that some other pickups have, this pickup is just very faithful to whatever rhythm you whatever rhythm you feed it. I like the percussive response. And it's also faithful in a melodic sense because I can feed it very big chords and I feel like everything is there. And I like that. Let's feed it a big chord. I feel like you can, you have a big fifth down, down there. You have a second, minor second with the fourth of the chord and then even a tritone at the top. And it is all there. And if you change one of them, that change made no sense, but you heard it. And I think that's the point. I've been very, very happy with these pickups. I think that's it spec wise. Let's talk a little bit about the stone top which is of course the main aesthetic feature of the guitar. And aesthetic really is the keyword here because there's no big changes to the guitar, it's just for looks. It's not heavier because it's a one millimeter uh, sheet. It doesn't really change the tone at all either. So in case you guys want to see how it's done, I have a little video by Alexander where he shows you the sheet. I'll play it. Well, so I received a lot of questions about the stone tops and as you can see, it's it's, it's really thin, it's about uh, one millimeter. That's nothing in weight and I do this only for aesthetic reasons. It doesn't affect the tone or anything else, it's just for the looks. And that's the, that's the material I, I use, as you can see here. It's, it's very flexible and it has no cracks or anything like that. So it's really cool to work with and yeah, I just simply glue it on the, on the wood, on the body and it works. So yeah, if you have any questions about that stone thing, just hit me a message. It's amazing, right? And it just makes for the most epic, unique instrument. So as to how it sounds, you've heard how it sounds in the demo, and I'm a big believer of judging a guitar by a mix, because that's how you're gonna hear it. But I also like hearing a little bit of solo guitar on a review, so I will play you a little bit of each pickup position, and um, you could judge for yourself.
Nice. I've gone ahead and put the DIs for the Stone Crusher song from the beginning of the video in the description so you can try this guitar out with your favorite amp or amp sim and see if you like that sound. I don't think there needs to be a verdict on this demo review. I just really, really love this guitar to death and it taught me a few valuable lessons and inspired some riffs already. But the main lesson, especially in a time like this, is that I think you should support uh, small and local businesses because I could have just given my money to a big guitar company and they wouldn't have cared. But by putting my trust on a smaller builder, I ended up with a more unique instrument, a friendship for life, I really hope, which was a very, very big one for me. It's all victories. So I think you should consider that if you can. Like I said, DI is in the description if you want to try the guitar out on your rig. You can get the whole DI's, like cleans and everything, and the stems for the song here on my Patreon page, as well as seeing me mix the demo. And you can watch the guitar in action in these other videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.